Welcome Capricorn. Sorry about the delay of getting your reading out, uh, but we're here now. So let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to be um, using the Starseed Oracle deck, Divine Directions and Animal Tarot to see what guidance it is that you need at the minute. Okay, so Capricorn, we want one card. Wow, just like that. Loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. Okay, it doesn't have to be God necessarily. It can be whatever um, higher power, I suppose, works for you. Okay, but it's about letting in, I suppose, something other than yourself that is going to help you to feel supported and give you some hope and faith. Okay, so two more cards. Do I want that one? Yep. Okay. Okay, great. We have a first card here is guides. Second card here card here is goals. And the third card is birth. Okay, so Capricorn, let's have a look at the first card. Also, we're going to be reading the, um, this um, meaning out of the book at the end. Okay, so make sure that you stick around for that. Okay, so guides. Your spirit guides are there to help you. Communicate with your spirit guides today. This is it, right? This is what it's talking about. Opening up, letting in other forces to guide and help you along this journey. Okay, so tell me more about guides for Capricorn, please. Tell me more about guides for Capricorn. So let me just pick this one up. Okay, Capricorn. So we have the Two of Winter and the Queen of Spring here. And um, with this Two of Winter, there's this sort of like, I feel like um, a bit of a, a crossroads in your life right now. And it could be a decision that you need to make right. Um, this talks about procrastination and worrying about things okay I feel like what's important for you to do right now is to make sure that you remember who you are okay because this cat here sits on its throne okay it is the queen of spring okay it's the it's it's Sorry, there's a couple of things coming through here. So first off, I want to say that there's a new beginning, okay? A new beginning that is transpiring in your life right now. And there may be a decision that you need to make. And it could be feeling quite difficult for you to make that. And you could be holding off making that because you're not too sure which direction to go in. And what I feel with this is what it's really important for you to stand in your power and remember who you are, okay? Because this cat sits on its throne, it doesn't even need to wear its crown. It remembers who it is. It doesn't need to prove to anybody where it stands in life, right? It's She's the queen, right? Doesn't matter about the gender. Don't pay any attention to that. It's more this energy that we're talking about. She knows what her role in life is. She knows how to do what she does, okay? She's sort of the caretaker of everyone. And maybe it's the case that you might feel quite responsible for a lot of people in your life right now. Um, and you, I just wonder if this decision is based on there's, there's something that you really want to do. But then there's so many other factors that come into play that it's like there's this uh, sense of feeling torn. Okay. And so the next card we have here is the Prince of Spring. Okay, and I feel as though there's sort of this need to leap out of the, it's, it's kind of like what I'm seeing here is for some of you, it's like being in a fish pond. Um, no, sorry, a fish bowl. Okay, it's like being in this fish bowl and feeling trapped, like you don't know which way to go. And it's kind of like swimming around and around and around. And then when you go to swim in a particular dip, 
particular direction you bang into the wall and you bang into this wall and you bang into that wall right you're banging into the glass that surrounds you that holds you in there it's like you need to find another way out okay like this dolphin is leaping out of the water there is another way I feel as though in order for you to see that way you need to stand in your power and remember who you are because this um toing and froing in your mind is not helping you to see which direction you need to go in okay and once you are able to do that that is going to become very apparent to you and you're going to be able to do what you need to do to make things happen okay the 10 of winter here this is about you I feel being independent and not relying on anybody else okay this husky here is not waiting for its master he, this husky has its lead in its mouth ready to take itself for its own walk, not waiting upon anybody, doing what it needs to do to move forward, to move on, okay, because there's been a time where you have been really, really down and out, like there has been some absolute, um, I feel for some of you there's been some trauma in your life that you have had to recover from, and I want to say to you Capricorn, without minimising what you have been through, be aware that that is now done okay the healing journey is taking place sometimes we can put a lot of weight on what is has been done um, to us and that can keep that can sort of hold power over us okay so I feel like it's important for you not to allow that to happen to take control to take control of your mind and the direction that you are going in in life okay okay yeah see look at this this is this butting heads right and I just wonder if this is you in two minds um this could also be butting heads with somebody else and it's not actually helping and it's kind of like keep you know it's that thing of like continuing to do the same thing and not actually making any progress so it's important to go in another direction or look at another way to do something okay um we have the ace of spring here yes see this is this new beginning that i'm talking about yeah this ace of spring so sometimes and and this is this taking care of the family right doing what is best for the family but ultimately doing what is best for you because you need to look after you before you can look after anyone else, okay? And if you're used to looking after your family, that's going to seem very foreign to you, but it is the most important thing because the tiger cub can't feed its baby unless it goes out and hunts, right? It has to sometimes leave the baby there and hope and pray it's going to be protected while it goes out and hunts for food, okay? So sometimes there are things that you need to do in life in order to provide what you can for your family okay so this could be where this torn feeling is coming in for you the next card we have here is goals it's time for you to take your goals off the back burner go after them yes yeah, see this is taking care of you right it's not necessarily just about your primary needs it's also about taking care of your heart taking care of your your passions what it is that you love to do okay so Capricorn let's have a look further here for goals on the floor again I just want to get these in order of how they're coming out here the ones on the floor let's see if we've got any more for goals no that's it okay so let me pause you for a minute Okay, so Capricorn, we have the Princess of Summer here. And this can be, um, I feel like in relation to goals here, I feel like this is about you actually maybe uh, addressing something that you have really wanted to do in the past, okay? Um, there could be a hobby or something along those lines that you took up once upon a time and it may be time to actually re-engage in that okay it could be a career um it could even be someone in your life who comes back into your life um friends um romantic partners whatever um 
it's sort of like what I feel like though in regards to that it's about more so about reigniting this passion within you for you to pursue the goals that um, fulfill your soul okay we've got life experience here right so Capricorn there's things that you want to achieve I feel and um, some of you don't believe that you have enough skills or have enough um, qualifications in order to do that okay you have life experience and this is incredibly important okay look at a manager of a shop for example that's everything it takes to run a home. Okay, so never, ever, ever put yourself down for maybe not having anything on paper per se. Always remember your strengths and the positive things about you that you have achieved in your life and work with those. Okay, the next card we have here is the Eight of Autumn. So if there is something that you need, you know, like if you have a goal that you need to go and study for, um, go and do it because you certainly have the ability and sure for some of you may not have been um, studying for a really long time that's okay you know just be patient with yourself get into the swing of it find out what it is that you need to do in order to achieve what it is that you want to achieve so that you can start living your life for yourself okay rather than everyone else around you all right, it's a very, very important because everyone else around you is going to look at your achievements and look at what you're doing for yourself and learn from that anyway. Okay, so it's not wasted, you know, it's not a waste of time. You are not a waste of time, Capricorn. You are worthy and deserving of putting the energy, the time, and the effort into. You are worthy of that, okay. We have the seven of winter here. And this this crow, is it a crow? It looks like a crow to me. Oh, it's magpie, sorry. <laughs> Convinced myself it's a bird and it's actually another bird. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, it's holding a key in its mouth, right? I feel like this is the key to your life. I really do. Look at this, look at this. Um, back of the card here with this cat here sitting on its throne right this is just a reminder for you every single time I turn the card around to stand in your power remember who you are remember who you are because you are pretty crucial sitting on your throne there owning it right so own it Capricorn anyway sorry on a tangent I'm going to read this to you Caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resources such as time or peace of mind. Be aware of the results of your actions as well as what others might be doing behind your back. Yes, Capricorn, use your intuition, okay? Life experience gives us a knowing at times. So trust yourself. Trust yourself before you trust anyone else. Okay? Believe me, trust yourself. Okay, the moon. Okay, not everything is seen. Okay, there are some things in the shadows. But I feel like you're being taken care of. Like I feel like you're actually being guided, divinely guided, Make sure you're connecting with your spirit guides, okay? Because they are guiding you. They are helping you along the way. You are divinely protected, especially you, okay? So, um, yeah, I feel like even though the unknown is there, it's important for you to also go with the flow and try to relax about it because you will be taken care of 100%. Okay, so we have birth. And pick it up this is a time of new beginnings yeah right embrace the new life with open arms yes and it's scary right because you can't see everything that's coming and you don't necessarily know so of course it's scary but go with it anyway because this is important for your growth and your evolution so birth tell me more about birth for capricorn please
I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. This is taking an interesting turn, though. Birth. Tell me more about Birth, the Capricorn. Oh, I just turned the cards the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. Any more? Okay, cool. Okay, let me pick these up. Okay, Capricorn, for some of you, this could actually be about starting a family. Okay, so that could be the case for some of you. Um, we've got the lovers here, first off. Okay, and, um, and this is real love, Capricorn. This is absolutely real love. You know, this, this Ace of Spring, this new beginning here, an absolute beautiful thing to be happening for you. Okay, so this could be a little bit scary for you. I do want to say about this, though, that this could be, you know, in regards to a new passion, hobby, um, job, career, anything along those lines, that, you know, this could be something that you're absolutely in love with, that you love doing, right? For some of you, it could even be about um, taking care of children, Um I don't know why that's coming through, but it is. Um, we, yeah, so, you know, just apply it to your life, however it fits. Okay, so we have the four of spring here. And, and I just love how these two are on their back, just basking in the water, right? Letting the warmth of the sun dry out their bellies together. You know, this is an absolute beautiful connection going on here. And um, and and I adore this for you. Um, this here, though, the forest spring talks about relaxing. Okay, going with the flow, like I've already spoken about. Okay, so making sure that you're not resisting, you're not fighting, you're not standing in fear of the unknown. Okay, that you're actually letting your life flow naturally. Okay, we've got the two of spring here. And um, again, this is this procrastination thing, I feel. Okay, making the decision to take flight and take charge of your life. You know, actually live it. Because if you don't do that today, when are you going to do it? It's sort of like I get the sense of sometimes just putting it off and putting it off. I know I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, I'll do it next month. Just do it. Just take the step forward and go for it, yeah? Because what you have here is the star right? This is abundance. This is, this is a life that is going to shine down on you, you know? So this is something that um, is, is a pretty incredible result of making the choices that you make. When you go with your heart and follow your heart and what it is that you want, you get everything that you need. Okay, because this here, this stream is just trickling out. When you really let go and start to sing your own song and start to play your own tune without being inhibited and doing it authentically, the river flows for you to be able to float down effortlessly and peacefully. Okay, see, this is this four of summer, yeah? So making sure you're taking the time out to rest, relax, rejuvenate so that you can come out of your shell, okay? Because abundance is there waiting for you. It's all there. You, there's everything that you need, okay? But there's a resistance at the minute, and it's this fear of the unknown, I feel. So really, you just have to take your life by the hands, right? By the reins and ride it write it okay lastly we have unity absolutely beautiful i'm going to read this to you embrace this time of deep spiritual growth you may feel called to act as a mentor find a new teacher or spend time with others who are on also on a sacred path yeah see perfect way to end this when beginning with guides here right <laughs> trying to get that in focus so yeah this is absolutely brilliant okay Capricorn we're going to um have a look at loosen your grip here okay so where is this one let me just find it at the beginning loosen your grip 88 okay so Capricorn 
loosen your grip. Cope, coping mechanisms, destiny, addiction, let God in. We're cyclic beings and Mother Earth teaches us how to be human every day with the coming and going of tides and the seasons. If you're clinging to anything, you're resisting the natural flow of who you are. The things we cling to are often those we most need to let go of. The food, the substances, the relationship, the job, the people pleasing. The things we cling to often cover up our most vulnerable space. The part we're most afraid to leave empty. The part we guard and don't let grace into. But by keeping that space covered with something that doesn't serve us or clinging to it for fear of it not staying on its own, sorry, for not staying of its own accord, we prevent ourselves from receiving the things that will. A Course in Miracles tells us, whatever we leave empty, grace will fill. And the Buddha said, you can only lose what you cling to. Indeed, both are true. If this card appears, you've been called to find the courage to loosen your grip and give up control. To release your coping mechanisms and leave space for grace and God to enter. To surrender all that feels dense to the divine. Loosening your grip doesn't mean that what you are clinging to will go away. It may. Or it might stay. But you can be sure that what is for you will find you. And you'll breathe easier knowing that you've shifted from relying on your own strength to surrendering to the grace of life. Okay, so this is the Starseed Soul Inquiry. Okay, this is something to ask yourself here, Capricorn. What are you clinging to for fear of nothing coming to take its place? Hmm, love it. Okay, so Capricorn, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.